All right, everybody, welcome back to Oddly Satisfying. Aren't you just super oddly satisfied by the new Quality Content 2.0 logo and stuff, which is our sponsor for this video alongside the like button? Wow, it's just so cool. It's not available for sale yet, but I'll definitely let you know when it is, and it'll be at qualitycontent.com, which is also very oddly satisfying URL as opposed to qcathletics.com, which I think it's pretty swick. So, you know, make sure you're hyped. I'll totally let you know when it's available and Click the like button down below the video, our other sponsor. Let's start off with number 19, this hydrangea bush. It's very pretty, but, and I think I've said this in a recent video, I learned recently, aren't, aren't these the flowers that symbolize unaliving and demonetization? I don't know why. Why would you pick a flower that's just very nice and pretty looking to symbolize something like that? You would think it would be something, I don't know, that is gross. Like, what are those really, really smelly flowers in the jungle somewhere that bloom every really infrequently, but they're just absolutely pungent? You would think that would be something that symbolizes unaliving, but no, just let's pick a really pretty flower. I see your cold front from the air, and I raise you a view of a cold front from the road. So are we gonna see the original, or did this just blow the original out of the water, and the other one's not even in the top 19? That is pretty cool, actually, just like, straight on from the road. Is it gonna start raining, or? I wonder which way it's going. I assume it's going like from left to right, unless it's the unless it's the tail end of it. I don't know how weather works. All I know, pressure, different pressures, and then it goes places, and there's obviously, you know, it's going from high pressure to low pressure, and then, and but then, yeah, okay, cool. But that, it, yeah, it's very satisfying. It just follows the road. nice little shade. You know, it's feeling a little hot. Now you get a little break from that and cool off. So the weather's got gotcha. you. This hammer throw. How in in these sorts of events do you keep track of where you are looking? I don't understand. How many times do you have to accidentally just throw the hammer in the exact opposite direction of where you're trying to aim before you get used to it enough? to where it actually goes in the right direction. And it's just like, how many times it's, I guess that's why the net is around the whole platform right there. So that if they do mess up, they aren't just flinging something that weighs like 20 pounds into a bunch of people. Better hope that net's real sturdy. A little slice of the sea drawn in pencil. It's drawn in pencil? I might have take your word for this. All right, I need to, I need to zoom in on this. No, no, it actually, it's, okay, seems legit. You get close enough and you're like, yeah, I guess I, guess I could. Yeah, no, see, this is the real reason why I, I was always like, can I just do things in black and white when I was in uh, elementary school art class? But I was like, I just like outlining things. This is too complicated. How could I ever, I can't fill in these colors, all right? This is, how do you even, I don't know how you do this. Someone, maybe it's that person, but someone out there can do that. This explosion of sparks. What is, what, what's the explosion of sparks? What the f What are we doing here and why? <laughs> This feels like an OSHA violation. Um, are we are we supposed to be making explosions inside the uh, facility? It's like a couple of new employees just found out that if you do this thing, you can just make sparks explode all over the place. The boss hasn't found out yet, and they're gonna get away with filming it a few times from social media before anyone shuts them down. So uh, it, it looks like a bunch of the machines here, they've got, um, they've got burn marks on them. You guys, anybody know what happened here? These, the, they were de they definitely didn't have burn marks on them. They were all pretty clean the other day. Uh, anybody, anybody know? Like, do we have an accident or something? It's like, nah, just Bob and Jill, they were filming things for TikTok. And, uh, it got a little out of hand. That's all. Getting the colors right. Wait, is it? <laughs> I want to know if this is someone who's actually employed by the city or if it's someone who's just really frustrated by the fact that there are just colored bricks that don't seem like they should be in the places that they're at, and somehow they were able to find whatever this specialized tool is to just lift up bricks and put them down again. Like, they're not even attached. They're just they're just interlocked and they're there. That's it. That seems like it's it would be very prone to vandalism. You could just create awful potholes or holes that a skateboard wheel would just get absolutely decimated in, or a small bike tire or something like that, and really cause someone to twist their ankle horribly when they don't notice it. This guy was on top of it, he's like, nope, they're gonna come back later and crowd it, and they put put bricks in the wrong place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bothered by this every time I walk down this road. All right, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands because they won't do it themselves. How this car parallel park better than I can. Is that, is that parallel parking? 
Maybe parallel parking is part of the video. This is like Jim Connor, but it's with an RC car. That's very impressive, actually. I'm, I'm questioning the title, though. Like, not everyone can parallel park very well. I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone who can control an RC car and parallel park it a lot better than a lot of actual people can. There are a lot of people who just avoid parallel parking at all costs because they're not very confident in their ability. But yeah, Ken Block would be proud. Dude, you could totally make, like, you could get some big professional camera studio and cinematographer out there and you could totally get like some slow-mo shots, get a bunch of dust flying up. You could do 100% an RC car version of Jim Gymkhana, which would be really cool. I bet that would do incredibly well on YouTube. So TikTok person, 100%. You should do that even though it sounds like a big undertaking, but it'd be really cool. Maisie Williams practicing with Gwendolyn and Christy behind the scenes. Is this oddly, this is really oddly satisfying. I mean, it's interesting to watch behind the scenes, but I'm not oddly satisfied. I don't think this fits. So yeah, anyway, uh, paint matching is so satisfying. Wait, is, oh my, oh wait, oh, you're gonna actually make it look like this is a, a part of the, the thing. I was like, what, a, is this a paint matching thing? It's like something you'd find at a, a hardware store or something where it'll actually like match whatever paint sample you you give to the hardware store and then oh no you're gonna make it look like it's actually blending into real life oh i get it and then are you gonna oh my god then you're gonna paint the wall wait so there's like yellows and oranges and stuff involved in just just the wall that's gotta be such a tedious process to paint the thing from that angle where well, you have the camera right there and then you have to you have to be trying to like emulate your perspective to be the same as the camera lens so that you know what the camera lens is seeing and it lines up properly like, that's actually that's pretty difficult to do cutting blocks of wood i like this a lot hey, this is yeah this is far more efficient than just like having a saw do i wouldn't have thought about it that way but oh my god yeah if, if you ask me how i would think these that blocks of wood were made i figured it'd be just a saw like coming down on a thing is it's moving but that's like that's such a more complicated mechanism because it has to move stop chop move st stop chop move and then but this is just like you can just go that's so much oh my god it's so obvious it seems so obvious why wouldn't i have thought of that i would have designed a horribly inefficient factory if somebody had put me in charge of this I was told this video of the way i lace up my boots might be appreciated here i'm gonna be honest that that looks very tedious, but I'm glad- I guess after you've done this on a few occasions and you're like, yeah, it takes way too long to lace these up, I- I can't really be bothered to wear them. You come up with a more efficient method of doing it, but oh my god. I would have quit before I even started. If someone gave me these and were like, alright, you want to put these on and lace them up? I'd be like, I- I don't think I will do that. <laughs> this is gonna take me an hour before I can get out of here. Also, like... Oh, imagine, then you go you, you go to someone's house and it's a no-shoes house. <laughs> Someone comes up to my house, uh, we get, we're gonna play some board games, board game night. And they come in shoes like that, I'm like, yeah, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, um, I run a no-shoes household, so... Yeah, you wore the wrong shoes. Sorry about that. Slip-ons are preferable. Heavy machine operator avoiding a pipe. Oh my god, how high stakes is this? Wait, is he balancing the thing? No, that wouldn't make- because this- the thing would have to be on the other side. Oh, we must be pushing off the ground. Is that- oh my god, that's so high stakes. I don't know how important that pipe is. What's flowing through it? Is it supplying, like, natural gas to the entire city? Or something? And you just gotta dance over it with this gigantic machine? I guess it would make sense, yeah, it's- Hopefully you wouldn't be able to tip the thing over just by bringing that arm way far out. It, it's probably engineered so that this counterweight over here prevents it from ever tipping, even when that thing is carrying a lot of dirt inside the bucket. So, we have to train for this beforehand? Or is this just like, you're good enough that you can improv doing this? Oh my god. That's crazy. Good thing you didn't blow it. Foam going into air vents. Do it again, but uh, put the comment somewhere else, please. The frick? Wait, did they- <laughs> hold on, did they do this thing? Why am I only now just seeing like several things and oddly satisfying that are TikToks that have some sort of like caption? Is this a thing that you can do? You can like bring a tweet into a 
TikTok or comment into a TikTok and then reply to it with your TikTok or something like that. What the frick? That's so cool. I love this. Was he covering up the air vent with the comment in the last video and the people were like, I'm not satisfied. I couldn't see it go in. Also, this is probably not good. The manager is going to come in and be like, hey, so our air conditioning system is broken. I don't know how it got a bunch of water and goopy soap in it, but can, whoever's responsible, please stop doing that. <laughs> it's it's going to cost like $5,000 to replace the system. This magnet we forgot next to an aluminum grinding machine. What the? Whoa. Wait, is that little bits of magnet sticking to the magnet? I hope you're wearing a mask or something because this, this seems hazardous. You imagine if you inhaled that and then it would and then you stood next to a magnet and then oh that actually probably be really bad oh my god wait what if you inhaled that and then you went into like an mri machine oh my god oh no no i don't want to think about that no i've just made this horrible oh jeez, it looks so fuzzy but it's little fuzz particles of unalive next to an mri jesus absolutely fantastic mincing i don't know why people are so good at chopping things but they're really good like how do you even keep track of where you've chopped on something like an onion because it's like it still looks fairly solid when it's oh oh and he's not going to chop all the way through and then at the very very end the entire thing is just going to collapse and it's going to be brilliant god how do you actually not accidentally chop your hand it's so high stakes it's so high stake <laughs> i've lost a few fingertips lost a few bits of the palm of my hand. The palm of my hand would basically look like this onion. 5,000 piece rainbow puzzle. I thought for a second from like just the blank table in the thumbnail that it was a puzzle that's just white. And then you shine a light on it and it becomes all iridescent and rainbowy. But this is pretty much just as bad. What kind of masochist does this to themselves? Oh my God. I mean, yeah, I guess at least you kind of know the general area of certain colors, but pff, this is just pain. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. The only thing worse would be just, just a white puzzle. At which point, I feel like there would be some amount of leeway, because every piece can't be completely unique. That would be just a ridiculous endeavor from a manufacturing perspective. So I guess if it was just a blank white puzzle, you would have a lot of repeats of just pieces that could go in different places. So maybe that's actually worse, because most pieces end up having to go in a specific place there. Lighter at 7,600 frames per second. See, even then, it's like too fast. I should say the 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 flame coming out is too fast because you just like you still don't fully see what's happening. It's also like um, what is it? I think slow mo guys they did a CD shattering once, and it was like <laughs> even at a hundred thousand frames per second, it's barely barely uh, slow mo enough for you to actually be able to see the thing cracking. It happens so quickly. It's, pre it's pretty cool though. You can see that like spark traveling up. Yeah, fire, pretty, pretty cool. I have no idea how the whole thing is working, but yeah, nifty. Seems like a good time to finally show off the spice rack I built. Oh, it just like pulls out next to the fridge. That's cool. See, I would never use that in a million years because I don't really cook things, but it seems pretty useful, especially because, I don't know, my grandma had a, a little cupboard that was very shallow that was dedicated to spices and it was too tall. I couldn't reach it. <laughs> I was also like, I was like five to ten years old when I was going for this thing, but I'd have to get the lemon pepper. I'd have to put the lemon pepper on my lox and bagel. Oh my god, it's so good. Just the best thing ever. Uh, but I was like trying to reach up and hopefully not tipping over other things as I was getting it out of there. It's more convenient. I would have been able to reach most of the shelves as a uh, five to ten year old. I'm still four feet tall, but but I was shorter then even. So uh, yeah, it's pretty It's nice. I hope it like blends in with all the other cabinets. It has a nice smooth rolling mechanism. Yeah, pretty cool. And that's all for the last month. Replacing a single piece of carpet. How did you not cut the other parts? Seems like a job that a, a pizza cutter would be really, really good for. Don't you think? <laughs> you just pizza cut the part of the carpet. But then, okay, so you put it in, but then how do you blend it together to make sure that it, it looks proper? You just put it in and then you just kind of hope it blends in. Then it's, oh, there's like a specialty tool for this. Why do you have to fast motion that cool tool thing? The thing with a bunch of gears on it. Obviously, it somehow makes the new piece of carpet like bl blend in with the old carpet, but I don't know how it works. Can you have at least given that machine a little bit more airtime? 
Like, what does it do? I know nothing about this. How does it work? It somehow makes everything... What is that? What are those two? What is that? What does that do? Looks really cool. Also, don't stick your hand in it. Oh my god, it looks like it'll destroy your hand. But other than that, satisfying, but I, I want to know more. Anyway, that's it for the last month of Oddly Satisfying. Make sure to like if you were satisfied. Uh, also, if you want to help out our sponsor, you should, you should like. And uh, make sure you check out the previous Oddly Satisfying video by clicking up here. The latest Mary Music upload down below that. Playlist in the description if you want more Oddly Satisfying. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications on, and I'll see you later.